Quasi Luigi, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Sorry, I sound very quiet. My roommate's in here, and I don't want to share and watch these. Watching house. So. Um, but I wanted to make a Saturday Zoo Quasi because I haven't done that in a while. And, um. I now I'm just conscious of it. Because. <laughs> when you're talking to your. When you're talking to yourself or to your vlog, to your camera, it's really like to be by yourself. So it's really odd for me. But anyway, I, I haven't done a Saturday Zoo Quasi in forever. So. Welcome back to Saturday Zoo Quasi. So, um, if you remember how Saturdays the Guatia work, is I have things like, um, like Man Crush Monday, Woman Crush Tuesday, and so on for the whole week. I don't have anything for Sunday, which is weird, question mark, but I think that's because I have Saturdays the Guatia. But, uh, maybe I'll add something with Sundays? I don't know. Anyway. So, let's get started then. So, my main crush Monday goes to Benedict Cumberbatch, because why not? Benedict Cumberbatch is beyond fantastic as an actor, as a person to be admired from, you know, every woman on the planet. Um, it's just fantastic. And uh, so, I chose him for my main crush Mondays. Simple as that. Um, my woman crush Tuesdays... It went to Mamrie Hart. Now, if you don't know who Mamrie Hart is, I don't think that's Mamrie Hart. I don't know. Mamrie, I'm sorry. I don't know what your last name is. I think it's Hart. So please excuse me. But if you don't know Mamrie Hart, uh, she is a YouTuber on YouTube. I never seen her channel. Uh, but you ask, then you ask, why would she be my woman crush? Because um, not about ten minutes ago, she was on Tyler Oakley's. A live stream with him for the Trevor project he's doing and I thought that was fantastic and I think she, from what I hear from her from Tyler sorry there's hair uh, what I hear from her from Tyler and what I've seen from her she is hilarious she's funny she has several YouTube channels on here um, I don't know what they are uh, if you were watching the broadcast you probably know um, but if you if you want to look her up on YouTube it's memory hard I think and uh, she's really funny so that's why she's my woman crush of the week because she's just she reminds me a lot of me sometimes. So, go Mamrie. Yeah, that's your main woman Chris Tuesday. Okay, so for Wednesdays, I have Remember Wednesdays. And I was at the grocery store the other day, and I was getting Capri Sun from, like, the shelf. I couldn't find my strawberry kiwi. I was so frustrated, by the way, how they treat the Capri Suns with such disrespect. Because there was this one that was just, like, bursted open. There's one with dents in it. I was like, I don't know if I should buy this because it's just so beat up it's not open but it's just so beat up so is this any good still so there was that but it was um but that's not where i was going with this so i was looking for capri suns and i saw above the capri sun where the capri suns were supposed to be and there was juicy juice now for all you kids ever um that you're now adults i remember when i loved obsessed with juicy juice and i just was just like of this drink it was fantastic i was obsessed with it i was obsessed well no, not only that i was obsessed with anything with sugar in it of course when you're a kid you're obsessed with anything with sugar so it's juicy juice and um capri sun obviously and kool-aid and hawaiian punch and high c and all those drinks and whatever but i saw juicy juice and i was like i remember loving this in my childhood when i was a wee girl and yes i used the word wee and um it was just fantastic. I was just like, ah, memories. I do have a memory about a Kool-Aid incident I did have once. Me and my sister were at my grand my great grandmother's house. I remember there. She was babysitting us until my mother got off work that day, and uh, and she's been doing that. She's been taking care of us for years. I mean, like I grew up with my grandmother and my great grandmother around me, and by this point, they basically had all of knowing me. So um, anyway, off track. So we were we were uh, hanging out in the house. And we had basically having our afternoon snack. We didn't really have one. We kind of had, like, light dinner, and then we went home and had more dinner. We ate a lot as kids. What happened was was that um, I was really mad at my sister because of something or another, or I wanted to play a prank on her. So what I did was um, my great-grandmother started throwing us Kool-Aid, and I had my classic Kool-Aid, and she had her classic Kool-Aid next to me. 
And I was like, you know what I want to do? I'm going to be evil right now, and I'm going to put salt in her Kool-Aid. So, so I did. She wasn't paying attention. She was talking to my good grandmother. They weren't paying attention to each other. And I put some salt in her drink, and she drank some of it. And I, <laughs> I didn't get away with it. I got caught. And saying, uh, I told them, I, I confessed that I put salt in it. And my sister's like, you're trying to poison me? I was like, salt can't poison you unless you drink a whole bunch of it. And I was like, I didn't put that much in. And, uh, so I thought that was funny. Yes, I was an evil child, but I did love to play pranks on my sister. My poor sister. <laughs> so many things have gone wrong. Which, reminds me, goes into Thursday. Oh, no. I take that back. No, uh, throwbacks, my sister it's a different tire store that probably needs a whole vlog to explain so i'm not going to go there um so i'm going to go to throwback thursdays next which is um a throwback since easter is coming up soonish i think because february is almost over and march is coming so i'm guessing easter is coming up i don't know i don't i don't have a calendar i don't know um so when easter is coming up and it reminds me about two three easters ago um, I got a Easter basket from my brother. This is my bunny. His name is Joe. And uh, not the little bows. I put that in his hair because I love snow. When I'm not being buried in it, I love snow. So this is Joe. And he came in with my uh, Easter basket. And there's a giant chocolate bunny in there. And I didn't really want it because, yes, I know, absurd. But, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, but, um he's important to me because he's my gift he's a gift for my brother so i like to keep him around me because he's like my brother's here he's with me i know it's a weird thing i don't have a, i don't really have a picture of my brother with me and i don't get to see him very often so i have joe to remind me of him my he's just as rotten as my brother is which is good so just explaining all my old, all my siblings are older than me i'm the youngest sibling so i get treated very well or very poorly in this family. I get two extremes. I don't get medium at all. So, this is Joe. And I'm glad I have him because he reminds me of my brother. So, there's that. So, I'm going to go on to Flashback Friday. And, um, I'm not flashing back too far, but it is a flashback because it has happened in the past. Um, and I think it happened two or three days ago. I wanted my roommate to make me something because uh, she's really good with her hands so um she's fantastic she has she does basically like a side business it's called um sarah's animals and it's fantastic let me show you what she made me <laughs> she made me this i uh, know i didn't want an animal i wanted a crescent moon because quite frankly i'm obsessed with crescent moons and this could be a waning moon or a waxing moon. I, I can't tell the difference if I'm doing that right or not. But, um, she made this for me. And this is her little symbol to say that this is hers. And I got to figure out the fabric. I go, like, yes, I wanted this red because it was a cute, really cute red. And I really liked this, uh, fabric with the, um, with the weed on it. If you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. And, um, I like that because it reminds me of my home when I'm not there. So, this is hers. Isn't it cool? She does this. She does animals, too. She's done an elephant, an owl. She's done a whole bunch of things. And um, you've seen her on my vlogs, Sarah. And um, if you want a link to uh, her page, her a friend's oh, page, girl. to have one of these done, um, I'm going to put that in the description below. They do cost money. They're not free um, because it is a business. But they are really cute. And she made this really cute ghost. His name is Toast. I'm not kidding you. Ghost Toast is freaking fantastic. And uh, so I recommend anybody who's looking for a cute little handmade thing to look her up. I'm going to put her Facebook page link in the description. Look her up. She's fantastic. Okay, and that's my flashback Friday. And um, so now it's for Song Saturday. So uh, as you, you might not know that I like to listen to music a lot, depending on my mood of the day. Usually if it's very mellow, I listen to like artist versus poet and uh, Mufford and Sons and that kind of thing. And when, um, when I really am serious and working on a project for school, I listen to the pianist Uroma. And when I'm in a bad mood, I listen to rock music and so on and so forth. It just depends on my mood. And the mood that I have for a couple of days, because we've had a week of no school. We've been buried in here. It's been it's been good and it's been awful. It's been it's been both. 
So, um, anyway, so I was playing well, and this song came on, it's from Artist vs. Poet, it's called Adorable, I think it's the whole title, it's called Adorable by Artist vs. Poet, and it was fantastic, I thought, the song is adorable. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think of an, uh, I'm cheesy, I couldn't think of another word for it, but, um, I thought it was fantastic, so. Um, if you want something mellow, I would check out Artist vs. Poet because they're fantastic. Now, I'm not dissing my friend's dance, but I haven't listened to them in forever. Um, uh, since my friend Daniel recommended them to me, and I, I listened to some of them with him, and I liked it somewhat, but, um, after a while I start stopped having, like, a mood for them, so I kind of moved on to, um, I found Artist vs. Poet, and I started listening to them, and they're fantastic. And, uh, so... Adorable by Artist Rose Poe is my song of Saturday. So my book of the week. Yes. My book of the week is Happy Marriage. This wonderful thing here. It is the story and art is by the story and art is by Maki In oh Injo Injoji? Jeez, I can't think of the name. Um, right here. This name here I can't pronounce horribly. Mari Mar Maki, excuse me, Maki Inno Inno Joji. I can't pronounce it. I, I apologize. But this is my book of the week. Um, because you know me, I'm a romantic sap. And I started, I read the series before and I fell in love with it. And I was like, why do I not own this series? And so I started buying it. I'm two books away from finishing the whole collection. The tenth book just came out on Amazon. I'm like, yes. And so I'm going to buy it. Ne I'm going to buy nine and ten next. There's ten books in the series, and it's fantastic. Um, if you like, um, if you like comedy, romance, and shenanigans, here you go. It's really funny. Um, I don't really know how to say the synopsis very well. Um, so the main character is called Chiwa Takanashi. Takanashi, I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong. And she has to marry a total stranger, who is a company president called Hokuto Miyama, Miyami, uh, to get her father out of debt. So. If that tells you anything, it's fantastic. She had to marry a total stranger to help her father. It was like, she married him, her father debt gets cleared, and it's all good. Except that she has to marry a total stranger, so it kind of sucks. But the shenanigans that happens and everything, the drama, it's fantastic. So if you are a comedy, romantic lover, I recommend this manga book by Maki and Joji. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. She does the story and art, and it's by Shoujo Beat, obviously. And it's just fantastic. I love it so much. Love it. Okay, so that was my book of the week. And um, the show of the week, I recommend, um, it is an anime. It is uh, Say I Love You. It's an anime. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't heard of it yet, you should. It's a beautiful anime. It's about uh, this girl named... Oh my god. I haven't seen it in a while, but I remembered it today. And I was like, I love this show and I really want to tell people about it. Mai, I think her name is Mai, or May. May, I think it's May. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, this girl is, she's outcasted by people. She's basically separated herself from everybody else because everybody lies to her, says so lied to her. She doesn't trust anybody. And um, there's this, of course, there's this handsome guy that everybody loves, but May could not want any farther away from her. And he runs into her in the hallway, and he, she leaves an impression on him with a glare, and um, and it just kind of goes downhill for me from there, right? But for him, he's just like, he just wants to, it's like in his eyes, you can see the curiosity about this, the girl character. It's like, why is she like this? You know, why is she not trusting of people? She just doesn't like people in general. And um, he slowly kind of changes her view about that, but um, that's throughout the series. But I just, I love 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 i say i love you because it's fantastic it she it's it's awkward it's first love and it's it's awesome i love it it's it's hilarious it's love obviously so it's romantic and um and i would recommend to anybody who's a comic romantic like me i just i love that stuff so that's say i love you my show of the week so my youtuber of the week is <laughs> c nanners <laughs> yes c nanners um, if you don't know who that is, you should. He is a gaming YouTuber. Um, he has the most contagious laugh. I mean, like, 
you have Tyler Oakley and Sean Anders together, you wouldn't be able to stop laughing for like an hour because they both have this just like signature laugh that's fantastic. And I love Sean Anders; he's so funny. And um, I just oh, I love him. I love him. He's just so funny. He he's a great gamer. He just he makes you entertain. He just interacts with everybody. He has um. Who does he interact with? He uh, interacts with Chill. I don't know if you, anybody knows Chill. Anybody? Uh, Addiction. I think、uh, Gassy Mexican is another one. I don't know. I don't know. Those are just a couple I know that he plays with a lot. So um. So yeah, my YouTuber of the week is Sean Anders, though, because I love him. He's funny. He he keeps it light and short, and he leaves you laughing, which is what everybody wants to feel at the end of the day. So if you want a quick Laugh on the way to work or onto somewhere that's not a funeral. Then、um, definitely watch Sean Anders because he's hilarious. He's really funny and he'll deceive you. And when he and when he knows he's deceiving you and he gets away with it, he just you just hear this laugh just start to come out of him. It's really funny.、Um, so yeah, go watch Sean Anders. He's hilarious. And that's it. That's all I have.、Um, I don't think I'm gonna add any more segments to this. Basically, the mouth will just stay in the first place. But I will leave that description below to my friend's fam- Facebook page. You should totally, you should totally check out her page and、uh, look at all the stuff that she has on there because it's fantastic. And also, if you want to know anything else about anything else, let me know in the comments. And also,、um, I also wanted to add the segments of Insta. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. I don't know. I might make that a whole vlog for Sunday.、Um, I'm sorry about that. Also, I wanted to say I was sorry because I did not do my Mardi Gras video like I wanted to, and I apologize to that the promise I broke. I did do my anti Valentine's Day one, but I did not do my Mardi Gras one because I wanted to kind of go out and about on my campus and have my mask on and my beads. And be really happy about it, but it had snowed, and、uh, we had a snow day. We had snow day all week, as I told you earlier, and it just didn't feel the same to do it just in my dorm room by myself while my、uh, roommate was at work. So I decided not to do it instead, and so I apologize for not having my Mardi Gras video. But hopefully next year there won't be snow, and I can just fool around and have Mardi Gras kind of day. So sorry. So yeah, that was fantastic. So that is it. Saturday's quest is over. You can go back to your lives now. <laughs> Kidding. Come back. Come back to Cassie. Yes, you, you, yeah, you. Come here. My vlogs are amazing. They are. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't seen anything else, look around. I've done Town of Salem like forty thousand times already. I do vlogs. I've done two challenges. I probably should do more. If you think I should do a challenge, put it in the comments below what kind of challenge I can do. Cause I have, I'm blanking here. I'm just like, it doesn't exist. Um, so I'm a gaming too, and um, yeah, try to follow me on Twitter and、uh, Instagram. If you don't know what my Twitter is, it I don't know if it's on my account. I don't even think it's. I'm not sure if it's on my YouTube account. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Ah,、uh, so follow me on Twitter, Tweerings94. There you go. Look at that up. You'll find me. And、um, if you haven't seen me on Instagram, it's MatrixRemy94. That's where I am on Instagram. If you want to follow my life there. Um. Yeah. So, because <laughs> I'm on Twitter and Instagram more than I'm on YouTube, which is sad lately. It's very sad. Um, so yeah, so if you're new, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel, and thank you for becoming a blue jay. And look at my vlogs below; I have a bajillion of them. You don't have to watch all of them; just watch a little bit of them to get a、uh, get a taste of what I am here for. It sounded weird, but yes. And if you're my old blue jays, thank you for watching.、Um, I hope you guys. I will see you next time. Love you. Be good. Be safe. Be happy. I love you guys so so much. And um. While I have you here, I know this video is super, super long, but、um, I also wanted to get you guys to know that touch base on you guys that、um, if you don't know Tyler Oakley, you should. He's a vlogger. He's a very popular vlogger on YouTube, and he's fantastic. And、uh, so his birthday is coming up soon, ish. 
in March. I know it's March. And uh, I just just I just watched a live feed from him, and he is doing a beautiful thing, and he's help, he's donating for his birthday uh, to the Trevor Project. Now, if you don't know what the Trevor Project is, it is I don't know really how to explain it because um, I'm not really really I haven't researched it. But I think the big point is is that if you are if you are gay, lesbian, bisexual. And you just don't have anybody to talk to. The Trevor Project is there to talk to you about it. You know, it's it's to help it's to help the gay community come out and feel that it's okay to come out. You know, I think that's what it's really about. But all in all, it's there to help people. I want to say the word accept themselves or words accept themselves, but. I really, I really don't know. So if you want to check, if you want, if you really want to make sure what I'm talking about is true, go over to Tyler Obey. He has a video about the Trevor Project. He did this last year too, but I really think it's a great, a great thing he's doing. And donate for him. Just donate to the Trevor Project because that'd be fantastic. Tell, don't you know, say anything. Just go over to, what is it, Prizio? It's Prezio. It's P R I Z E O dot com slash Tyler. And you can donate there, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever, to help him out. It's not going to him, it's going to the Trevor Project. And if you want to learn anything about the Trevor Project, Google it. And uh, try to just help the world become a better place. That's what I think, anyway. So, okay, I'm done. I've been rambling on way too long. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.